I want to take one of these SCT-013 AC current transformers and use it to monitor how much current is flowing in various AC devices. I put together an interface PCB with today's sponsor, PCBWay, to monitor the AC current with an op amp and an ESP8266. These current transformers are available in different max current measuring capabilities, but the one I'm using now can measure up to 5 amps and has an output voltage of 1 volt at 5 amps. If I plug in a higher current rated one, I can also use that while adjusting calculations in software for the new range. The intent of this project is to monitor the current until a set threshold is reached, either rising or falling, and then generate a trigger response. For now I'm just blinking an LED, but in the future I also want to trigger events over Wi-Fi. Here's the signal measured directly from the output of the current transformer. The scope probe shows a lot of excess noise on top of the signal, but the output of the op amp cleans up the signal a lot. Since the output voltage of the transformer is AC and fluctuates above and below zero volts, it needs to be biased up like an audio signal so it can be properly read by the ADC, which can only accept voltages between 0 and positive 3.3 volts. Here's what the signal looks like after the op amp. It's biased up halfway between 0 and 3.3, which I achieved here on the op amp using these two identical resistors from 3.3 volts to ground. The gain of the op amp is adjustable, so when measuring smaller currents, the gain can be increased to scale up the signal, and then we can measure the waveform on the ADC with better resolution. For extra flexibility, there's an output level control so the overall signal can be attenuated if needed. This can be useful if I want to unplug the WeMOS module and just use the headers to connect the op amp output to a different ADC that's maybe only capable of 1 volt max in. The whole board gets 5 volts and 3.3 volts from the WeMOS module, so this module will always have a USB 5 volt source plugged in. I have an AC test load set up with resistors to draw around 100 milliamps RMS AC current. The actual transformer voltage is around 20 millivolts RMS for 100 milliamps of current, and this matches the calculations for 5 amps per volt times 20 millivolts, giving us around 100 milliamps. Here's the same measurement looking at the output of the op amp with the transformer voltage biased up, and we can also AC couple the scope probe to remove that DC offset so we can zoom in on just the AC signal, and we see a much cleaner version of the original direct transformer voltage. This is the test sketch I came up with for now, and in addition to turning on an LED when a certain current threshold is reached, it also shows in the serial monitor the actual voltage measured on the current transformer and the calculated RMS current that it represents. I used the true RMS library that I found on this GitHub page, so what that allows me to do is take a bunch of ADC readings from the current transformer after the op amp and calculate the RMS equivalent based on all of these parameters including the resolution on the current transformer, 5 amps per 1 volt, the max ADC voltage 3.3 volts, it's a 10-bit ADC, and in this experiment I don't have the op amps applying any gain so it's just set to 1 because I'm not trying to amplify or reduce the current transformer's signal. These parameters here I just took directly from the true RMS library code examples. I tried changing some things and it just made the readings worse so I'm going to keep it as it is here and through the main loop every millisecond it will go and acquire a new sample from the current transformer and do an ongoing RMS calculation. In the setup I do what's required for this RMS library and I configure a trigger output pin where I can turn an LED on when we reach too much current. This main loop is really taken from the example again for the RMS library, so it takes a reading adds it to the ongoing RMS accumulation of samples, and after doing some other things, at the end of the loop, in order to make sure we get back up to the top and take the next sample at one millisecond intervals, 
it'll just waste time here in this blocking loop where all it's doing is waiting until all of the time to do these things plus the time being wasted here comes out to about one millisecond. So in the loop, every 200 milliseconds, we go and print out on the serial monitor what the calculated RMS is for the current and what the actual RMS voltage is on the sensor. And if the measured current reaches our set threshold, in my case, I set it to 75 milliamps, we turn on the LED for a while and turn it off a little later. So up here, my threshold is 75 milliamps RMS. And now if we look at this 100 milliamp load being run with the serial monitor, when there's no current or a small amount of current, the LED is not blinking. When we turn it on, we get around 100 milliamps like the other clamp meter shows, and the LED starts blinking because we've exceeded our 75 milliamp threshold. If we turn it off, we're measuring a little bit of offset current up to a couple of milliamps, and that's okay with me for my purposes here, considering this is set up to measure a full scale 0 to 5 amps. And if I take away one of the load resistors, the current gets cut in half, just over 50 milliamps, which again, the measurement looks similar to the clamp meter, and the LED is no longer blinking because we haven't reached 75 milliamps. So this all seems to be working well for now. And an even better test would be to use a power tool. I'm going to try this electric sander because power tools like this don't have an ideal sine wave current profile. So let's see how accurate this can measure compared to the clamp meter. And it looks like both measurement tools are showing the same 4 or so amp peak, maybe 5 amps, and then it settles somewhere around 2 amps. Now that the interface for the current transformer works, I'll continue trying to get it working with Wi-Fi capabilities and use it in a follow-up project.